As part of efforts to commemorate this year's International World Peace Day, civil society and people living with disabilities have joined their counterparts across the globe to advocate peace for coexistence towards nation building, for sustainable and harmonious relationships among all races, irrespective of religious and cultural backgrounds. Habila Durafai's report is presented from our studios. Every 21st of September is set aside to celebrate World International Peace Day, to promote peaceful coexistence and tolerance to humans. This year's theme is End Racism, Build Peace. Speaking at the Peace Walk in Kaduna, the founder of Lagasse Foundation, Kautumi Abdulaziz, says peace is the bedrock for nation building, growth and development for any nation, saying inclusion of all strata of the society in the governance process of the country, with particular focus on women, youth and people living with disabilities can all change the trajectory of this country without resorting to violence, which can be done through the power of votes. She called on all and sundry to play a critical role in peace before, during and after the 2023 general elections, urging Nigerians not to mortgage their future by allowing politicians to influence them with Mudo of rice, sachet of salt, maggi of 500 naira. Come 2023, we the people and the youth of the Federal Republic of Nigeria will make very bold statements that cannot be influenced. We will not mortgage our future again. As Nigerian youth, we appeal to all not to allow themselves to be used. We must eschew division and build peace across the land and breadth of the country. Also, the program officer of the foundation, Emmanuel Lawrence, says there is the need for politicians to drive issue-based campaigns rather than throwing tantrums. Um, to engage very meaningfully, making bold statements. But we want to do this very peacefully in the sense that we will not uh, succumb to all of the antics of our politicians anymore. Uh, this is 2023 coming. Our future matters a lot to us. The future of Nigerian youth matters a lot. We will not um, succumb to violence. We will do the needful through the power of our votes. It is very important to us as individuals of Kaduna citizens, as youth, and also as any peace-loving person in Kaduna and Nigeria as a whole. Today, the world is marking International Day for Peace, and it's a day that is being celebrated worldwide. So we can't be left out. Of course, as youth, one of our core mandates is to participate in issues like this. The president of people living with disabilities, Ridwan Lawal, says government must engage religious leaders, traditional rulers, people living with disabilities and youth in promoting peace building in the country, while advocating for 15% inclusion of people living with disabilities governance. Have a social contract with the politicians on issue of percentage. Now you see our mother's women have been agitating for 35% affirmative action. I keep on asking the contestant or the candidate, what percentage do you earmark for persons with disability in terms of political appointment? These are the issues. So I think any contestant or candidate that comes to persons with disability, we have to go on social contract with such a candidate. The appeals to Nigerians not to allow themselves to be used as vehicles or tools of division and destruction, but to promote peace and justice. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.